It's the title holder of the largest flying aircraft in the world. Over one million pounds of gravity-defying heavy metal. A jet so huge that the Wright brothers' first flight could have taken place in the cargo bay. The six engines on this giant produce over 300,000 pounds of thrust, making it the world's most powerful aircraft. It's the one-of-a-kind Antonov 225. gigantic jet with dimensions that defy belief. Fully loaded and fueled, this beast weighs more than a million and a quarter pounds. It seems to defy gravity as well as it lifts that massive bulk into the skies. A jet so big, even the man in charge of flying it doubted it could get off the ground. The first time I saw the aircraft in the assembly hangar, I said, it is not possible. <laughs> it is not possible that this aircraft can be airborne. <laughs> its wingspan reaches 290 feet. The diameter of the fuselage, 63 feet. It stands nearly seven stories high. This aircraft is so immense, one tractor can't pull it alone. Two heavy-duty tractors are required to tow it from the hangar to the airfield. These numbers add up to one simple distinction. Antonov 225 is the largest jetliner in the world. This six-engine beast is the heavyweight champion of the skies. Imagine a jet so gargantuan that it would barely squeeze between the goalposts on a football field. To put it in everyday perspective, the Antonov 225 dwarfs the most prolific jetliner in the world, the Boeing 737. And at 276 feet long, the 225 is 45 feet longer than the largest passenger jet, the Boeing 747-400. When it comes to lifting heavyweight cargo, only a few aircraft in the world can handle the loads. The Air Force's C-17 Globemaster hauls 85 tons. And the mighty C-5A Galaxy lumbers through the sky with up to 135 tons. But when it comes to megaloads, Antonov aircraft from Ukraine are in a class of their own. The Antonov 124, the 225's little brother, as if anything this big can be called little, packs a whopping 150 tons plus of cargo lifting might. The 225 is the next order of magnitude. It has a 250 ton capacity. The 225 is capable of carrying up to 250 tons externally on 
the roof. Not only is the 225 the heavy lifting champ, the aircraft is immense. Its belly is so cavernous that eight average sized houses could be stacked inside. A jet so enormous, those who've stood in its massive shadow have dubbed it the aluminum overcast. But being the world's largest isn't the only thing that sets this Soviet-built jet apart. The Antonov 225 is rare. In fact, you're looking at the only one in existence today. The 225 has a story. A tale of creation desolation, and then a phoenix-like rebirth from the economic ashes of the former Soviet Union. The saga surrounding this one-of-a-kind jet truly sets it apart from all other flying machines. The Antonov 225 evolved out of the intense competition with the United States in the race for space. This heavy metal monster was built in the Ukraine in 1988 to carry the Soviet space shuttle. The 119-foot-long shuttle nestled comfortably on the broad shoulders of the Antonov 225 and was dwarfed by the craft designed to transport it. Unfortunately for the 225, size isn't everything. In 1989, the Berlin Wall fell, and by 1991, the Soviet Union itself would be history. And not even size could save the Antonov 225 from the economic woes of a country in transition. Their space program was canceled, and this awe-inspiring jet was decommissioned and demoted to the biggest junk pile in the world. They parked the airplane in, in a corner of the, the test facility at, at Gostomel, and they were watching this wonderful asset falling into disrepair. It would be nearly a decade before the mighty Antonov 225 would defy the odds and gravity once again. The world's most massive aircraft carries the name of its creator. The name of a man whose passion for flight began in the days when Tsar Nicholas II ruled Russia, and aviation science was in its infancy. He would eventually become a hero in a nation that didn't yet exist. Oleg Konstantinovich Antonov was born on February 7, 1906, near Moscow just three years after the Wright brothers made their famous flight at Kitty Hawk. As his country weathered World War I and then the Russian Revolution, young Antonov kept his head in the clouds. He collected World War I airplane parts, and this fascination with flight led him to design his first glider. Oleg Antonov built his first flying machine uh, in 1923 in age 17. It was glider. Uh, it was not very successful glider, but during the next uh, 15 years, uh, Oleg Antonov built a lot of gliders which were on the world scale and keep some Soviet and world records. He honed his engineering skills at the Leningrad Polytechnic Institute and graduated in 1930. He then worked as chief of design at various Soviet factories, developing more than 30 types of gliders. He was very talented engineer and especially in, in aerodynamics. Uh, during the Second World War, 